What's up guys, welcome to the channel and it is rally day. It is the Evo versus the Mini. Before we roll the VT, I just wanna have a little bit of an introduction and tell you a few of the issues I had uh, whilst making this video. Let's start with the Mini, because this is an easy one. No issues at all with the Mini. Absolutely love this thing. I'm a little bit biased because I like the front wheel drive Mini platform. But this thing, apart from the tires rubbing on the body, I was gonna trim them, but it actually sounds a bit like a turbo wastegate, so I really like the sound of that. Mini, didn't give me any hassle at all. Really fun to drive, love this thing. And I even if you've seen my stories as well, at the end of the day, I was doing figures of eight with this just to um, run the lipo down a bit. Loads of fun. So much fun that I've actually got an M05 uh, NSU, partly because it's the Jägermeister one to go with my Capri. I've also got the Porsche, but it's another front wheel drive M chassis, love them. Um, so this will be built very soon. Now on to the problem child. The Evo, the TA-04 Evo. I had lots of issues with this. It broke a couple of times. The gearing slightly out and I didn't actually notice and didn't mention it. I, I didn't talk much through the video because I was concentrating too much, especially this one. But the steering servo so slow well, i don't know if it's the servo but the steering's quite stiff on this and it was just an absolute pain in the backside i think if the steering was sorted i probably would have done better but anyway loads of issues with this as you'll see no issues with this as you'll see apart from my driving is to be questioned but but let's have a look and then we'll come back um i'll give you a quick update at the end on the times and stuff and then we'll look at the highlights. Let's roll the VT. So a few uh, warm up laps and then we'll do a time lap. We're gonna have the Evo first. The first half of the track, or this first bit of the track's wet and the rest seems to be dry now. So it's a little bit twitchy up here, but um, probably got a bit too much power for this tight little garden course. But I'm gonna give it a go, do the best for you. And then let's see, uh, once we've done a few practice laps, we'll time it and then we'll get the mini out. Very twitchy. <laughs> Really not easy to control. I'm hoping it'll get easier. Just have to be really careful with the throttle. Ugh, no wonder it wasn't going very well. All right, let's find that uh, drive cup and drive shaft and fix that. Right, four wheel drive again. Right, three runs, let's time the best one. Come 
So broken a steering arm in there. I mean, it's fixable, but probably gonna have to take a little bit of this steering stuff apart. I think we can safely say, I mean, I probably got, I didn't get a clean run in there, but we'll put the time up of what this um, achieved. I think it's time to move on to the Mini, um, which is probably a bit more drivable than this. The gearing on this, it's um, the motor punch setting and the gearing, it's a bit too jerky, especially for this small tight track. Anyway, let's get the Mini going and see what that can do. Right, time for the Mini. <clears throat> I think of a smaller track, smaller wheelbase, um, it's probably gonna do a little bit better than the Evo. Swap the tires around, it's got a bit more grip on the front. Uh, let's give it a few practice laps and then see if we can get a clean run in. Um, obviously the Evo didn't get a clean run, so if we get a clean run in with this, I think it's looking good. My driving skills are uh, to be questioned. <laughs> Yeah, this Mini is so much better and easier to drive. He says, nice roll. Right, timed runs. Let's give it a few um, and see which is the best time. I think it's probably gonna get quicker than the Evo because of the few issues we had. Anyway, here we go. I've had to get my laptop out because I can't remember the times. Obviously they're on the screen for you, but I wasn't timing them when I was driving. I'd done that after while I was editing. Um, Evo 27.6 for the first lap and a 29.7 for the second lap and then it broke. So we didn't get a third lap in for the Evo. However, on the warm-up lap, let me go, let me find where I put the time. On the warm-up lap from the Evo, I did time it. I've not put the time on here for it, but that warm-up, I think it's the second warm-up lap I do, if you look at that, that was actually a 25.4. Um, so not on a, not a proper time because it wasn't one of the official time laps, but we'll take a 25.4 as the unofficial fastest lap for the Evo. And then we'll look at the Mini, a 25.9 for the first lap, a 23.7 for the second lap, and a 24.6. So fastest lap for the Mini, 23.7. I am in no doubt with a four-wheel drive car 
set up correctly that drives better than this it would i wouldn't say it'd destroy the mini but it will definitely beat the mini this thing was just a bit of a letdown to be honest um anyway let's have a look at the highlights cheers for watching i'll see you next time If you've made it all the way to the end of the video, here's a little sneak peek for you. As you'll see, it says sold out and not available there now. Because I was so unimpressed with my TAO4 Evo, I have bought the last DFO3 RA that was on the Tamako website. This came out in 2009 and I've got the last one. And I tell you, I couldn't find any anywhere else. This may be the last one ever sold. Who knows?